So you might have logged into your old version of Minecraft recently on a new computer and realize that there are no sounds. And that is because Mojang took down their legacy sounds download that you could just grab off the internet. Why, I'm not quite sure, but this is how to install them. Now I could have just used, uh, could have just gone to my Minecraft directory and put in the resources. Um, but I'm just going to use my universal installer because it makes everything easier. I have added onto it uh, the ability to just install anything that's just like resources or stuff for the Minecraft directory instead of a direct mod. So what we'll end up doing is you could really select any version because it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we'll go to, uh, what do I have it called? It's Legacy Sounds. Um, and we'll just install this. And it's not going to ask for a name because it's going to realize that there's nothing for the jar and it has installed the resources. So now if we fire up Minecraft and beta, they're still not going to work, or at least not all of them will work. Currently this legacy sound loads, like, <laughs> wow, I don't know what I just mixed together there. The legacy sounds download has actual legacy sounds, like um, the original arrow firing noise, the original explosion noise. So what you're going to need to do is, let's say I fire on my bow here, you're going to realize it's not making that old bow noise, or it's not making a noise at all when I fire it, just the, the dir noise once it hits the ground. So press F3 and S um, to reset the sounds. And this, this goes for all old versions. Now if you're playing something like New Frontier Craft, 1.8.6, that won't be the case. Wink, wink. <laughs>